Jacqueline. I am a corporate flight attendant. This is my YouTube channel and that's what it is about flight attending. So welcome. If you are a new viewer, I am so happy that you stumbled across my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. So I am still living in a hotel. It has been five months, a very long five months. I am so ready to get out of here, but I do have some exciting news. I'm not quite ready to share it yet, but I promise you I will. What happened with this news was I was doing a lot of internet research for the things that I have coming up and it kind of led me down this rabbit hole into like everything that is on the internet. And so I Googled, just out of curiosity, corporate flight attendant and Google has other questions asked when searching for this. And I thought it would be a fun vlog to answer some of Google's highest asked corporate flight attendant questions. And just a disclaimer, some things that were asked ranged from really good questions to totally absurd. I'm gonna answer the top 10 that I saw. That's what this video is about. Also, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. So if you plug in corporate flight attendant into the Google search engine, the first question that you see is what is a corporate flight attendant? Hopefully the videos I make on my channel will answer that question for you. But like I said, there might be new viewers here. So if you are new, I will answer what a corporate flight attendant is. A corporate flight attendant is in charge of safety and comfort on fancy private jets. They could either work for businesses or jets that a family owns. We deal with celebrity jets. There's just a whole bunch of fancy people flying fancy airplanes and that is where we do our work. So it's different from the commercial side of flight attending. We are basically in charge of everything that goes on on the flight. So if there is any special requested decor like for a birthday party or anniversary trip, we put fun decorations up. If there are food allergies, we prepare food or pick up food that is compliant with what our passengers are requesting. So we are in charge of food and ambiance and safety, like a commercial flight attendant is in charge of safety. So that is in a nutshell, really short abridged answer of what a corporate flight attendant is. Question number two is how much does a corporate flight attendant make? You guys are nosy. I get asked this all the time on Instagram too. So that is kind of a hard question to answer just because there are so many varying flight attendant situations. Uh, the easiest way that I could break it down for you is if you are contracting as a corporate flight attendant, which means you work for multiple different groups you are listed with an agency that does job placement whatever the case is you just do contract work uh, the day rate for a corporate flight attendant is between 550 and 700 dollars every day so if you are on a four-day trip you will make between 550 and 700 dollars all four days of that trip so even if you just fly on the first day and you lay over for the next two days and you fly the last day your day rate is your day rate, whether you are flying or you are laying over. If you are a corporate flight attendant full-time with a company, generally you should see your income around $75,000 a year. Hopefully that kind of answers how much does a flight attendant make, just depends on the situation, but those are the numbers that I have. The third question is kind of a wash question. Uh, it was, are there flight attendants on private jets? Yes, there are obviously flight attendants on private jets. That is what I do for a living. That is what all of my videos are about. Yes. Now, that being said, there are some companies who fly their business people around where a flight attendant is not necessarily required. Those passengers do get briefed by the pilots about all the safety information, and a lot of times the pilots will cater the food on those planes too. So a flight attendant is not mandatory to have on a private jet. It's just a nice little luxury for those passengers who are traveling. Okay, question number four is how do you become a private flight attendant or a corporate flight attendant? You do need to go to school to be certified. Certified, unlike commercial flight attending. So I've talked about this before, when you are a commercial flight attendant or a person who wants to be a commercial flight attendant, do not spend your money on flight attendant school. You can be hired with no experience and the airlines will train you exactly the way that they want you to perform. That is not the case with corporate flight attending. You do need to get certified. There's a few different options out there. I personally went to flight safety. 
and I made a video about the differences between commercial flight attendant training and corporate flight attendant training. I'll link it down below for you. I found it to be very interesting how totally different they both were. So to become a corporate flight attendant, like I said, you go through that training, you become certified, and you can register with agencies who do placement for flight attendants, uh, the contract work that I was talking about, or you can look online and try to get a position as a full-time corporate flight attendant with a company. It takes a lot of hustling. It's a hard industry to break into. There are fewer corporate flight attendants hired each year than commercial flight attendants. They don't really have to do with the other. I just happen to make the transition from commercial to corporate, um, but that's not necessary. Any person can come in, decide that they wanna be a corporate flight attendant, go through training to get certified, start putting your information out there, trying to make those connections, and then you can book a job. All right, question number five. I guess I should just do five for those of you who will call me out saying that is 10. Question number five. Can you fly for free on a private plane if you are a flight attendant? I mean, kind of. I've worked ferry flights where I was repositioning a plane and I just sat in the back, read my book, was sipping on my coffee and really enjoying my life, but that was also for work. So unlike commercial flight attendants who do get to fly for free on their airline, as well as other airlines that they code share with, private flight attendants do not get to fly for free. But there are some exclusions with everything. I recently did a trip called Day Trip to Boston, and I told you that we would be ferrying the plane, which means bringing an empty plane to Boston to pick up passengers to fly them back. My pilot was actually able to get his family on the plane and he just had to pay taxes. Of course, every situation is different. Some owners of aircraft will allow that. Some businesses let their executives fly for free and their families fly for free. That has nothing to do with the flight attendants. I'm just saying in some situations, there's wiggle room for passengers to fly for free or to fly for the taxes. So I asked that pilot about getting his family onto the jet that we were flying on that day. And he let me know with that particular company, if the plane has an empty leg, you can fly friends or family and you just pay the taxes. Does that benefit me? No, because I'm already on the plane working. But if I wanted to drop Johnny, my fiance, or my family, or whoever off somewhere, I certainly have the option to do that. But as far as personal travel goes, I will be buying my plane tickets from here on out. Okay, so now we have question number six, and that is, how often do flight attendants work? Okay, another hard question to answer. If you are a corporate flight attendant and you're contracting, obviously you can work as much or as little as you want, as long as the calls are coming in for someone to hire you for a flight, you can work as much as you want um, or as little as you want. Cause like I said, it's a hard field to break into, but when you're doing the contract work, you can say, yes, I'm available for that trip or no, I am not available for that trip, call somebody else. If you are a full-time corporate flight attendant, you're just flying as often as the company needs you to fly. So can't give you a direct answer on that one. Every situation is different. Being a flight attendant or anyone in the aviation world, you know you're supposed to be or potentially available 365 days a year, 24 hours in a day. We don't have the typical Monday through Friday, nine to five luxury job where we have normal schedules. If you wanna be in this industry, be ready to work all the time holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, special occasions, everything. We're always working. And just because I came from the commercial side, I figure I could answer how often a flight attendant works on the commercial side. We did have minimums. We would have to fly at least, I wanna say it was like 60 hours every single month. Uh, generally, I flew like 120 hours a month, which is insane. I didn't do that the entire five years I was flying. I did that after I purchased a house and I wanted nice things for inside my house. That overtime check was nice. So um, I, I feel like a good balance for a commercial flight attendant is like, I don't know, maybe a hundred hours a month. You still have some days off. You can still have some sanity. And commercial hours are way different than corporate hours. I work a lot harder now than I'm a corporate flight attendant, even though I don't work anywhere near 120 hours a month. Honestly, I worked one day this month, so I just spent the rest of my time making YouTube videos. Whatever, it is what it is. It's fine. I, Like I said, I have a lot of exciting and crazy things coming up, so I didn't have the chance to be at work all the time. Again, that's the best thing about our schedule. It's flexible and you make it work for you. Question number seven is, do flight attendants get free housing? <laughs> flight attendants don't get anything for free. And you really don't make a lot of money when you first start out as a flight attendant. So anything for free would be nice. Uh, no, flight attendants do not get free housing, except I wanna say Emirates puts their flight attendants in like a compound. 
you might want to research Emirates if you're thinking about becoming a flight attendant and free housing as a selling point. Not strongly suggested. There's not a ton of rights there. Not a situation I would want to be in. But then to kind of add on to this question, flight attendants do get free hotel rooms on layovers. I've been asked that a ton. Do you have to pay for your room? No, we don't have to pay for our rooms. I think it would be silly to seek a career out where you're spending a lot of your own money to make money. Does that make sense? I would never spend my own money. Hotel room rates are like, I don't know, $100 a night for like not a great one. And you don't want to be in that situation with bed bugs or creepy people or whatever. So um, we don't get free housing, but we do get free hotels on the road. And again, another difference between commercial flight attendants and corporate flight attendants in this situation is when you're a commercial flight attendant, you sign in with your crew, all your rooms are blocked together. Everything's already paid for by the company. On the corporate flight attendant side, uh, of course I sign in with the pilots, rooms blocked together, but we pay for everything up front and then we submit receipts to get reimbursed for everything. So I guess I could say I pay for my own hotel rooms now, but also that money does come back to me. And oddly enough, I have a video about corporate flight attendant expenses. So I'll post that one down below for you guys too. Okay, remember I told you in the beginning of this video that some of the questions are weird? They start getting weird around question number eight, and that's where we are now. So question number eight is, does the queen have her own plane? And I could have continued on Google to answer this question, um, but I didn't want any of the answers that Google provided or that I saw to kind of sway how I was gonna answer these questions for you. So I didn't Google it, but I think it's safe to say the queen probably does have her own airplane and I would love to work on it or sit in the back and just talk to Kate Middleton all day long. That would be like my dream. Okay, another weird one. Do pilots sleep with flight attendants? I don't really know like, the context of how this is being asked. Do they mean on layovers or do they mean in crew rest areas of airplanes if you're a commercial flight attendant or commercial pilot? Um, but let me tell you something. There's a lot of scandal that goes on at the airlines. I have seen a lot of flight attendants who have gone out with the same pilots, uh, married pilots who were not so faithful. Of course, I mean, temptation is there. You're with a crew for a certain amount of days and hotel rooms are covered, um, people aren't the best kind of people. People aren't always loyal. They don't make good choices. So there's some hanky panky going on. Disclaimer, not that I even feel like I should have to say this. I have never partaked. I love my fiance very much. Um, but yeah, the, the crew can get around. I mean, it's gross. And there's so much gossip that goes on at airlines. Like, if you think you can have this discreet relationship and no one's gonna find out, that's like the biggest joke of the year. Everyone's gonna find out and everyone's gonna talk about you. And also if things get dramatic, uh, people always take the pilot side because you kind of need the pilot more than you need the flight attendant. So don't try to throw any pilot who did you wrong under the bus, it's not gonna work out in your favor. My advice to all flight attendants, never ever ever hook up with a pilot. And we finally reached question 10, and what do you know, it's a normal question. It's also probably a good one to research if you are looking to get into a flight attendant job. But question number 10 was, I had to look at my notes. What airline pays flight attendants the most? I am not in the airline world anymore, but when I was flying, I wanted to say Delta had the highest paid flight attendants, great locations. Generally, their employees are pretty happy. I know they're having some crises with their uniforms, but so is American and so is Southwest. It's just, you put chemicals on your body, bad things are gonna happen. You try to cut costs, bad things are gonna happen. Maybe one day the airlines will roll out with cute, organic clothes that you can wear without getting sick on an airplane. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, there's plenty of articles out there. You can certainly Google them for yourself. So as far as I know, domestically here in the US, um, Delta was the airline that was paying their flight attendants the most money. However, when I left commercial flying and got into the corporate side, I quickly doubled and tripled how much money I was making from when I was a commercial flight attendant. Granted, that's not always the case. I always try to stress this a ton. It is a very hard industry to break into. You need patience anytime you're becoming, like if you're a contract flight attendant, you are self-employed. Anytime you're self-employed, it's gonna be hard to network, to get your name out there, to get steady business, all that kind of stuff. Um, so don't think you can just quit your commercial job and get into 
corporate flight attending and just triple your income like that overnight. It's probably not gonna happen. So I hope this was kind of a fun and different video for you guys. Did you like it? Are you gonna leave me thumbs up? Please leave me thumbs up. Also, again, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. If you guys have questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns, post them down below for me. Uh, if there's any kind of videos that you wanna see, also let me know. Like I said, I worked one day this month, so I have time to make some videos for you. Thank you guys very much for coming by. I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.